show tonight, three men on coach Mark Harvey, Carlton High Fire Andrew Walker, and the legendary Phil Cracker joins us in the studio. Kevin Cheney makes an appearance on Tinner's Tip, and Benny Walker performs live. Doesn't get much bigger than that, folks. What an action packed show tonight. And on the panel, of course, Rock and Ronnie Bird. Welcome, Stan. Welcome to the show. And it's great to have a member of the Melbourne Team of the Century and the Premiership player for the North Melbourne Football Club. Great to have you on, Stan. It's great to be here. And there's a fair bit going on in this room tonight, boy, isn't there? Yeah, there is. <laughs> can I just tighten, say, tighten your seat say Grant, it's great to have someone with some wisdom. To oh. show. <laughs> Thanks, Thorny. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I went to the club at the end of the year and we spoke about, uh, you know, my playing future and um, it was a pretty open, open room and... Uh, Rats and I uh, sort of just said a few things to each other and I said um, where I played my best football and uh, he uh, said, yeah, that he'd agreed with me and um, from that moment on we uh, said that, you know, football was, uh, playing forward was my go, so uh, yeah, so we went from there. Work it out, you two. (laughs) (laughs) I I suppose you're playing great footy. um, (laughs) Andrew, you're having a great season. But just that mark, mate, take us through it. a couple of weeks ago, last week, or a couple of weeks ago? Haven't seen it yet. Sensation. <laughs> <laughs> you must be. But we've actually got a clip here of your dad. And look how high he is. Runs in the family, doesn't he, it, Gilly? Well, look how high he is. He's got his foot on the bloke. He's about six foot two or whatever it is. So you can see where you get your ability. Well, Andrew, it's a bit of a family affair tonight. There's me, there's you, and there's your brother Benny playing in a moment's time. But you've also got your lovely wife and your little bloke out in the audience there as well that have come in. <laughs> What's the little bloke saying? And uh, Grandy, and there's somebody on the way. <laughs> oh, another one in the oven. Yeah, That's good. Well, somebody well, on the things way. are flying at Carlton this year. Don't worry about that. And uh, it's good to be being the first coach on the show. You and, are. Uh, first coach, AFL. Yeah. 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 You just stole my thunder. You just stole my thunder because I was going to say you took a bloke to come all the way from the Nullarbor to come on to our show. Thanks for coming on. No problem. And it's good to see a lot of Fremantle people in the crowd. There's one in Now, an interesting panel. Yep. A couple of Cheeky goal sneaks, just yeah. here, the two of them. Elusive wingman. Yeah. Gilbert, you went back later in your career, didn't you? I was forward and forward back. Forward and back. Graham, what sort of player were you? Oh, a left back. Burly full back. <laughs> back. He oh. said he was a burly centre forward. No, centre well, forward. I could fall forward. I could kick a goal, don't worry about that, Arves. <laughs> now, now, Ronnie. Yes. You, now, you had Andrew on here, and you said you were going to ask a lot about Carl in depth, because we play him next week, and you didn't ask him one question about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 um, no, I didn't want to... Look, we're talking about his mark, and we... we look, we don't do that to our panellists. He's oh, right. a panellist. Well, we so am I. No, we, no he's a, he's a, he comes on the panel. Right. All right, but you're a guess. Okay. All right. I'm we a do, guess. Yeah, you're just a guess. <laughs> right. All right. We, we, love that. we love having you on here. But, uh, I did find out some information about... What's going to happen? After me. Well, why are you asking me? That? Ah, that's what I've got to put up with every week. So just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, you got tagged a lot in your career, so I might ask you for a bit of advice. If I can pass on the I'm still getting tagged on the panel. Can't shake him. Good one. Uh, uh, should have seen him tagged at the disco. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that alone. You said you were good at keeping secrets. So how would I keep a secret about, say, a high-profile player from? Melbourne, mm-hmm. footy club maybe. Maybe. And the fact that they might be thinking about going to another team. Mm-hmm. And because we're here, let's just say the Greater Western Sydney, how would I keep that a secret? I think there's a lot of skullduggery in you. <laughs> you know, you're, you're being sneaky here. You're not, here, Ron. What are you talking about? Well, I don't talk. I don't even know who are you? What are we doing here? I don't know. What are we talking about? So, so you, you just sort of, when I get questioned in the press, I absolutely go and talk on another planet. I actually start talking to Martians. 
to Marsh oh, wow. and, and what happens is the people out there, the viewers, are going, what? he's at it again. <laughs> Do the Martians he's... talk back to you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, mate. And there are a lot of Martians in our life. Yeah. Really. True I mean, stories. I'll tell you, my wife, when I get home at 2 a.m. in the morning, she is a Martian. <laughs> she, is a Martian. <laughs> she thinks you're a Martian. One of the really intriguing uh, stories in the book was when North Melbourne brought you over, Mum uh, came over and Dad. And um, when they got your house, they got house for you. Now, with Aboriginal people, we do smokings in houses because we know what's because of our culture and stuff. North Melbourne couldn't get a house because every house they went to, there was some something going on there. Is that yeah. is that true? That's true. There's a, the first house they got Jimmy in a, a place called Mount Evelyn. Yes. And. Um, Apparently there's a bit <laughs> far away from Arden Street. Well, there's a bit of, spir there's a bit of spiritual thing in there, wasn't there? Well, well, look, look, basically what happened is in the play, there was a... There's a lot of spiritual thing on the panel. Unfortunately, <laughs> someone passed away dying in the house. In the house. Right, oh, and, uh, okay. you know, it's the first time I've ever seen Jimmy tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, just on, on the play, Phil, what, what, what are we going to see in the play? What's some of the highlights of the play and what, what are people... What would you say to people... What, What's the most significant part of it you, in it for you? Well, probably uh, it's it's very compelling. It's you know it's a, it's, a, it's a compelling story. It's uh, uh, it's look you go back to when we were on the reserve, just outside the reserve. And in other news, Margrook's mascot Grooker the Possum was admitted to hospital this week after suffering from a serious football injury. Grooker made his regular footy yarns appearance on Friday night, but his weekend came to a crashing halt at footy training on Sunday. Fortunately, his teammates reacted quickly and an ambulance was called to the scene within seconds.